This is noise and more. This is noise and more. This is noise and more with Jake Moyes, the host of the most. Hello and welcome to the second part of Moyes and More Series 2. We've reached episode 6. This is the second part of the series. And what a cracker to start this second part of the series. We've got bullshit returning today. Okay, we've got a live performance from me singing. Yes, you don't want to miss that, ladies and gentlemen. And it is one of my own original written songs, so you do not want to miss that, ladies and gentlemen. We've got comedy. Uh, we've we've gone away from the comedians now. That's all done. So that's when bullshit is returning. And we've got the recent events of the week. So shall we get cracking? The first topic on my list today is Deck went solo for the first time in about 30 years in his career. Ant and Deck Saturday Night Takeaway returned last week with Deck at the helm of it by himself. And he did a fantastic job, ladies and gentlemen. He did do a fantastic job. The producers gave him three, three things to deal with. He said they could either um, apologise for Ant's absence. He could either make jokes about Ant's absence, which he did, and it worked very well. Or he could um, not mention it at all. Uh, so he done the joke saying that he's got to work all by himself. He opened the show saying, thank you, thank you. We've got a lot to cram in and I've got twice the amount of work to do. And then um, he was doing something for the uh, the end of the show show. And he said, don't worry, you won't do it. I'll do it like everything else this week. And then when it came to win the ads, he, um, she said, he, he asked the person doing it. So what have you been up to this week? She said, not a lot been working. And he said, for some of us, it's been unavoidable. So, Deck, you done, you've done very well on his own. I was actually surprised how well he'd done. I thought he was going to be down in the dumps. But no, his professionalism rose to the top. Uh, and this week on Saturday Night Takeaway, he's going to sing the Friends theme tune, I'll Be There For You, with the band The Rembrats, um, in memory, well, not in memory, but in tribute for Ant. So that will be very good now. I'm very much looking forward to that. But Ant and Deck's Saturday Night Takeaway with Deck Alone was very good. Also this week, Ian Lee on the Late Night Alternative has said that he is no longer taking calls. Uh, this come after a caller and him had a very heated argument and um, he got trolled on Twitter and everyone had a go at him. He got really sad. Um, so he has now decided not to take calls on the Ian Lee Late Night Alternative, which... Um, that is one of the main reasons I listen to it, because of the callers phone up and they have arguments. It's funny. Um, so, I was slightly gutted, but he's got to do what he's got to do. In EastEnders, this is just a quick one, because no one really cares about that, but Joyce died. Oh dear. Let's move on. It was April Fool's this, um, this week. April Fool's is supposed to uh, stop at 12 o'clock on April the 1st, but um, my life is still a joke, so... Um, and April Fool's... The, the winner of April Fool's is... Pornhub every year, okay? The winner of April Fools is Pornhub every year. A couple of years ago, they done, when you click on a video, it says, well done, you've shared on Facebook. Pornhub is the ultimate April Foolser. But this year, they just put horns on videos. Um, so it worked well, but it weren't really much of a fool, was it? It's been the end of Series 25 on top of year now, and it has been a good season this year. Um, and Matt did say at the end, see you later on in the year, so I think another series will be coming. Um... But Top Gear has clashed with the Grand Tour quite often this year. Um, in the last episode, uh, they were doing three, finding out which three SUVs um, are the best. Uh, now, in the Grand Tours version, Hammond had a Porsche, uh, Jeremy had the Land Rover Velar, and um, James May had the Alpha, I think. And um, in the Top Gear version, Roy Reed had the Land Rover Velar. Uh, Chris Harris had a BMW. Uh, no, he didn't, sorry. I do apologise. He had a Volvo. And um, Matt LeBlanc had the Alpha. So two of the cars were the same. But how were they supposed to know? How were they supposed to know? But other than that, it's been a great series. Of course, it was Easter. I have never really... Easter's Easter, really. I've never really understood it because he died on Friday, come back on Monday. But that's not the only thing. How does the date change every year? If he died on that specific day, why does it change every year? I've never really got Easter. Never really got it. Never really got it. Okay. Pat Phelan this week. Pat 
Phelan. Last week they were on, they were down at Whitehaven. Phelan was going to do a runner. Eileen went after him. He was going to push Eileen off the cliff. She turned and pushed him off the cliff. He climbed back up. She then stamped on his foot. He drowned. Then Monday he came back. So good Friday. He died Monday. He rose. It's just like Easter. But Pat Phelan we thought was dead, but he's not. So that gave me the idea. That gave me the idea. So Phelan's basically Jesus. Died on Friday, come back on Monday. But that gave me the idea to rewrite a perfectly good song and make it even more perfect, fitting for Phelan and Eileen. It's called Come On Eileen, Phelan Edition. From a live performance from me. It's a, it's a Moyes and More first. It's Jake Moyes with Come On Eileen, Phelan Edition. Come on, Arlene. Come on, Arlene. Poor old Patty P. Said he murdered four where well, the field chums, including beloved Mikey. He told Arlene. She'll be next if she doesn't give him the keys She said, you never loved me He said, don't push me now She is scared more than ever Come on Arlene to ra lu ra to ra lu ra Feeling has gone today Come on Arlene, oh come on Arlene, he's a goner Oh come on Arlene, come on Arlene, oh come on Arlene, he's a goner Oh come on Arlene There's more, there is more Come on Arlene Then on Monday Eileen got arrested and the street was guessing she was in on it And she knew he'd done it Questioned by the police, she said she didn't know Then B&B feeling was stitching up his leg Feeling has returned today Arlene, oh come on Arlene, he's coming for ya Oh come on Arlene, come on Arlene, oh come on Arlene, he's coming for ya Oh come on Arlene He's coming for ya Oh Arlene Thank you. It went a bit dodgy towards the end, I grant you. But that is my uh, feeling version of Come I On Eileen. It featured the episodes of Friday and Monday. As this is recorded on Tuesday, I don't know what happened on Wednesday. So there we go. I'm not writing anymore. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's play bullshit. Hello and welcome to Bullshit. This is the darts game which joins me and the dartboard. Basically the aim of the game is last year I had to get 100 over 3 weeks with 3 darts. Uh, now it's 120. I've improved the um, I've improved the challenge. So basically what I've got to do, I have 3 runs each week over the next 5 weeks to get over 120 and if I do I get to gamble I get to gamble to get them 140 with the remaining darts over the weeks. 
So say if I've done it next week, that would give me then three weeks to get 140 so I don't have to do something embarrassing in the last show. So standing up to the Yoki, we've got one camera here and one camera over there um, doing the dartboard. So I need to get 120 within three darts. Uh, I get three goes. So for the first time this week. That's a five. So that's a 20. And that's a one. That's 26 for the first go. I haven't had much practice recently. I haven't had much practice. For the second time. That's 20. That's another 20. And that's another 20. That's 60. For the last time this week. That's a treble one. That's three. That's a five. I can't do it this week, so I'm going to go down for bullseye. And it's a shit one. It's a bullshit. So in round one of bullshit 2018, I did not succeed. Join me next week here in the studio with the dartboard. See you then. <laughs>
turned around and told everyone that we're on the wrong train, love. <laughs> Fuck off. But they didn't let it bother them. They didn't let it worry them. So I took one for the team and I let it bother me. And I let it worry me. Because they're obviously going somewhere to meet someone. And they're going to be late now. Because they fucked up. And he's going to be worried. Or they're going to be worried that... Where are they? Have they been bombed? No, they've just been stupid idiots. But if... If that was me, if that was my situation, I got on the wrong train, I wouldn't be laughing about it. I wouldn't be telling everyone what a spastic I've been. I, I try to keep it to myself because there's being a spastic and there's getting on the wrong train. Alright? So there is a moral to this story. There is a moral about public transport. It's simply don't use it. Because you either pay stupid prices to go somewhere where you don't want to be, or you pay stupid prices for somewhere where you don't need to go, or you pay super prices because you're a spastic and got on the wrong direction. So there is a bigger moral of this story. It's buy a car. And in the wise words of Jeremy Clarkson, this is about public transport and buses. Why do poor people need to go faster than anywhere I need to go? Because Jeremy Clarkson's obviously rich and this is aimed at bus lanes. Poor people use buses, they need to go quicker. But they don't because bus lanes are stupid. I had a, I had a friend at school, um, they, they, we all went out on our bikes, I, I went with them on this occasion, but they, um, they went down a bus lane in the city, uh, the cameras got them, they all got fined, uh, old Harvey, he then went off, old joke Harvey, he then went off to a, an interview for, for college, and they said, um, so have you got any, uh, criminal convictions, Harvey? He said, um, Actually, yeah, I got, I got a fine for going down a bus lane. <laughs> Harvey, that ain't a criminal conviction, mate. So there we go. Public transport. Done and dusted. Boom. We need talent on this show. We need more talent. We need musical talent. Guitarists, singers, poem people. All right, we need to fill some spaces. Okay, today we had we had quite a good show. We had Come On Eileen, uh, feeling version. We've had the return of bullshit. We've had me talking quite a bit. But now it is the return of Ian Lee and the Late Night Alternative Callers. Um, for, in fact, a very good version of the best Beatles song on this earth. Hey Jude, don't be afraid. Take a sad song and make it better. We're going to join them when they're all joining in with the Nanas. I'll see you next week on Moys and More. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> Take it, Pat! Pat bottled it. If you're on the phone, start singing. <laughs>
I think that was it.